welcome to today's almost daily devotional. We are con uh, we wrapped up an excellent week at VBS. The kids uh, shared some of their songs that they learned in worship yesterday, and it was they did a great job. It was so uh, heartening to see them to uh, really take in the lessons that they learned that week and be able to share them with the congregation. So we are thankful this week, starting off with a joy in our hearts, and I hope that your Father's Day weekend was uh, smooth and uh, restful and peaceful. Today we're going to start with chapter 10. This is verse 17 of Mark. As Jesus continued down the road, a man ran up, knelt before him, and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to obtain eternal life? Jesus replied, Why do you call me good? No one is good except the one God. You know the commandments. Don't commit murder. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't give false testimony. Don't cheat. Honor your father and mother. Teacher, he responded, I've kept all of these things since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him carefully and loved him. He said, You are lacking one thing. Go sell what you own and give the money to the poor. Then you will have treasure in heaven and come, follow me. But the man was dismayed at the statement and went away saddened because he had many possessions. Now we're continuing to talk about hope and the idea that God, Jesus, is the only person who can really offer us any hope that's lasting, that's long term, that can fill up the parts of us that are broken. Uh, we talked yesterday in worship about the external things that we do to try to fix us, you know, buy better makeup, buy different clothes, um, eat different foods, you know, all of those things. And none of those things by themselves will fix us. They're not going to fill us up. They're not going to repair the broken places. Only God can do that. Now, the rich man comes to Jesus wanting an easy answer. You see, he goes wanting to know, is this going to be, what's the easiest way, essentially, is what his question is, what's the easiest way for me to get to heaven? You know, what do I need to do? And Jesus says, well, you've, you're doing things already. You're already doing the right things. You're keeping the laws. You're keeping the commandments. You're, you're doing the right things. And the man thinks, oh, well, I've been doing that. This is easy. That's easy. I can keep doing that. I've been doing that my whole life. And then Jesus challenges him with something that for him is difficult. And it says that Jesus does this out of an act of love, that Jesus loved him and then told him to sell his possessions. And there's a falsehood, there's a false hope that walking the Christian walk is easy, that we're going to get hope with no input from us, no no sacrifice from us, that we're going to just be given the gift of hope and grace without us having to do anything in return. And the truth is, is that when we're filled with hope, we make choices that are difficult at times. We're able to make those choices because we know that we have a place that's safe, that we're filled up with the hope of Christ. And so a little bit of external cost is not as drastic. It doesn't hurt as bad. It doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. And it doesn't mean that faith doesn't cost us things at times. And it doesn't mean that we don't have to put in some effort to follow Christ and to follow Jesus. It just means that the hope that we have makes that easier and makes it more meaningful. It makes it more purposeful. And so we can be thankful that Jesus loves us and asks us to do difficult things sometimes. God bless. Mm -hmm.